Kumatu Munganire, a project by BK Tech House, hopes to be a strategic tool for all stakeholders in the agro input subsidy program. Smart Munganire is a, a, a partnership uh, between BK Tech House and Rwanda Agriculture Board. Uh, it's a project to digitize the end to end value chain of agriculture in Rwanda. As you, you mentioned in your beginning, it's about 70% of the Rwandan uh, population living off of agriculture. Uh, so for us, it's, I mean, as a country, it's a big uh, area uh, of the economy, contributing to about 30% of the GDP. So this project, uh, uh, Smart Munganire, is going to digitize all the activities uh, involved from bringing input in the country or producing input in the country to when actually they arrive in the hands of the farmer and beyond that to actually to post-harvest. Rwanda Agriculture Board has in the past used a number of systems in supplying farm inputs that cost the government a lot of money and time mainly because they were paper best. With a new system, the institution believes that there will be a much smoother and faster process, hence saving them a lot of money and time. Uh, we used to have a system, a system to how we manage the, the distribution of seed and fertilizers under government subsidy. We have a long channel of distribution. Then we have uh, import suppliers, uh, sometimes also we call them importers, the people who are the main one who import seed and fertilizers. Then you have another channel of uh, distributor. We have also some people are on the ground, we call them agrodealers. We have uh, more than 1,000 where farmer go to pick inputs, seed and fertilizers under government subsidy. Then, as the government, because the government should pay the, the counterpart, the, the money which government uh, pay suppliers in order to support farmers to get the seed and fertilizers on a cheaper price. Then the, 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 the process was very heavy. Uh, then also we used to, to work on paper paper-based system. Mm -hmm. Then the, the first purpose of this program is to, to develop an electronic system which can help the Rwanda Agriculture Board and the, our partners, private sector, and the all people, the local government, all people involved in, the, in this system to use an electronic system which can help them to efficiently to, to, to do our work. Banks and other financial institutions have been reluctant in giving out credit to farmers, much of which was attributed to lack of accurate data on which to base their decisions. However, this is yet to see changes moving forward. To be specific, maybe 7.4% of the total loans from the commercial banks as of 2016 was allocated to agriculture. It didn't make sense. I mean, the big number of people uh, a third of the GDP, yet no commercial bank is giving them loans. Uh, so for us, we came up with a concept, really, uh, if, you, if you had to change the name of Smart, uh, Smart Home Ganire, you can call it de-risking agriculture. That is our concept. That is what we wanted to do in the beginning, de-risking agriculture. How do we use technology in partnership with our uh, RAB, our agriculture board, to de-risk agriculture? Uh, so the biggest issue when we talk to the bankers and also to other institutions involved in agriculture, the issue that led to small loans allocated to agriculture was the lack of data, lack of information. As you know, there's a saying that a teacher gets a teacher with a less than $100 salary a month gets a loan quicker than a farmer uh, who owns a piece of land and has been doing that for many years, feeding his family and sending his kids to school. Uh, so we want to change that. We want to be able to get the farmers to do exactly what they have been doing and be able to actually expose their discipline and their, their skills actually doing good farming uh, so that they can actually use that information to, to be eligible for, for loans. Um, so at the time, we, we put together a proposal, we had a concept, uh, the issue was clear, and we had a good idea of, and, and confidence of delivering the right solution. So we engaged the Rwanda Agriculture Board, uh, and they were facing the same issue. So the, the, the partnership was, was, was a, a no-brainer. The system is expected to promote transparency and avoid human errors, making it easier to digitize the entire ecosystem. If you use a mobile phone, then your mobile phone is registered on any telecoms. You use your ID, then the biodata for the farmer will be pulled to the national ID system. Then also they, have to, they will have to use the UPI, 
the the run the registration. But we have a, because you have a database of uh, all runs in Rwanda. Then those two, uh, the NI, the the national ID number, also the UPI number, will help us to to have the accurate data. But also a farmer also will be confident. He's giving his own information to the right people. Then it will be also the we are, we are going to be sure because they, they, they will help us also to do our planning. I know how many farmers I have. I know how many quantities of seeds and fertilizers farmers will need. Then I will push the, the suppliers, the agro dealers to, to avail the input on time. The platform will have a way that the money lent to farmers will only be sent, uh, used for uh, farming activities, meaning for the banks, um, if you if I apply for a macro loan uh, through uh, the, the the platform, and I get say uh, fifty thousand uh, to buy the twenty kilograms that I'm eligible for, that fifty thousand will only be spent buying seeds or fertilizers or both, uh, which for the bank uh, and, and everyone involved, if I use it, that means there's a, 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 a an outcome from the end that I'm going to get better quality in terms of harvest, but also higher quantity in terms of, of harvest. If I don't use the money, uh, the money stays in the system. So really, in terms of the, the, the financial solutions now, the 50,000 that you receive as a farmer, you can only, if you, you can buy shoes with it, you can have a wedding with it, you, you can only use it for exactly what it's, it's meant to do, which means if it's applied, you increase the harvest. Mm -hmm. The platform is expected to help farmers know when to plant their crops and which farm inputs are needed according to the area where the arable land is located. If you follow best practices, you buy the right quantity of fertilizers, you buy the right quality of, uh, quantity of seeds, you plant at XYZ date as, 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 as advised, uh, recommended, uh, from the platform by the way because you get advisory messages. Now if it doesn't rain or it rains too much, then an insurance company uh, is going to provide you with a macro insurance to cover your losses. Now, I mean, really what becomes a closed loop, which everybody, I'm willing to give you money, which you can only use for this agriculture. And if you follow ABCD steps, right, which the, our partners, Rab and Agra, the Minalok and the agronomists at the, the, the level, they follow up, right, because they have KPIs, you know, in Mihigo in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. You know, because the system actually is going to be also be able to say, if you have 1,000 farmers in Kinigi, if they follow ABCD steps, use the right fertilizers, the right seeds, you can have predict. We have uh, the engine, the, the, the platform has a, a yield uh, predictive model, which says we know the optimum quantity we can harvest. So it becomes a mohigo, uh, a KPI for you as, a, as an agronomist of that level, knowing that I'm expected to harvest 20,000 tons of potatoes. Now, you know that if all your farmers picked up the seeds and picked up the fertilizers, you have to follow up to make sure actually they use it and planting at the best, uh, the recommended planting day, right? Now, everyone doing their part in the ecosystems, you can actually see that you can slowly or very fast, if everybody complies, increase the quantity and quantity of the harvest. And meaning banks are confident to put money because the money can make sure the money is used for the right way, but also to ensure the losses, the insurance knows that if you actually plant at the right time, use the right seeds and use the right fertilizers, your chances of actually not harvesting the right quantity is less, unless it really doesn't rain, which is, that's the role actually, that's what the insurance's premiums do. So it's really a closed loop, and, but it's, it requires a lot of awareness. And, uh, and the telcos get that, the banks get that, the insurance companies get that. Uh, the farmers, we're doing a campaign, we've trained 20,000 facilitators, including the agronomists across the country. So we really want to make sure everyone has to understand the value and the importance of them doing their part for the whole equation to, 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 come, up, to come up right. On our side, as a Rwanda Agriculture Board, we will train facilitators from, from each village. We have what you call a farmer promoter in each village. From the cell, we have what you call CEDOs, the people who are in charge of social and economic development. At sector level, we have sector agronomists. At district level, we have uh, district agronomists, we have uh, uh, directors in charge of agriculture and the natural resources. For the moment, we have already turned them. All those, uh, the, this channel from the local government, 
Uh, we have also RAB staff, the RAB team, local government teams, and also those volunteers, because the farmer promoters are our uh, key people to mobilize the farmers at the ground. They have already been trained. They have been trained, and we continue also to help them to be able to mobilize the farmer, also to, to help farmer to register themselves. Because the registration to, to the farmer level is very simple. Then the, at the sector level, the sector economists will use the, the web, web system. They have to, to use the computer. Then also they have been turned.